Salutations, my fellow big kids. Now, guys, I'm sorry if that intro turned out bad because, fortunately, my parents are using the Xbox, but I just used my dad's or the TV, so I couldn't use the Xbox. Um, I just took my dad's tablet, took everything up here that I usually put into my uh, intro video up here, and tried to do it, um, but I had to keep it in the kind of third-person kind of view uh, for the review of this gun. Um, for the review of this game. Um, so if it turned out bad, I apologize. Um, but anyway, let's move on with the video. So this is the review of the Nerf Vortex Vigil. Really cool gun. This is a Vortex gun, my only Vortex gun. Um, so, yeah, on this side, on the uh, left-hand side, um, it says... Vigilon and Nerf. And it actually does say Vortex right there. You probably can't see it, but it does say Vortex. And it does on the other side too. Right there. Yep, you can see it. Vortex. Um on the um on both sides it does say Vigilon, but on this side, um the Nerf is still there, but it's not in color like on this side. This part over here is the jamming thing, so if you're shooting it and a disc gets jammed, you pull this back, and then back, and then the disc will eject from the barrel. Uh, let me turn my fan light on. Does that make the lighting better or worse? Yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave it on. Um, so yeah, this weapon is a little bit bigger than your average pistol, but it's still a pistol. It still can be holstered. Uh, or whatnot. Um, to load this blaster, what you do is you go on this side with the uh, Nerf, um, with the uh, um, not painted Nerf. You push this, and if you're on the side, it still will go down, but it's just on the side. Uh, you load five discs in here. Um, hold up, let me see where I put my discs. At. I don't know where I put my disc set, so instead I'll just fire a long shot while I'm, or a, uh, I'll just fire, well, unfortunately I can't fire this, I don't have any, I don't have enough ammo, um, but, anyway, uh, so how you work this is you load in all of these, and if it doesn't shoot the first time, then you just pull this back, and then you cock this back. And then you pull the trigger. So yeah, that's how you work it. There is no slam fire on this gun, which sucks. Um, but you know what you're gonna do. Uh, the grip is really comfortable. This is what this is probably my favorite Nerf grip. Um, I think it is the comfortablest Nerf grip I've ever held. Um, so yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the um, built-in magazine. I'd rather. I'd rather have like a 10 round magazine and carry more mags on my body than just have a like say like 60 round uh, drum uh, built into the gun. Um, but anyway, most all of, mostly all the Vortex guns aren't turret fed or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this gun, this gun for some reason reminds me of the laser pistol from Fallout 3, not the Fallout 4, but from Fallout 3, this reminds me a lot of the laser pistol. Um, as you guys know, I like to call it the classic laser pistol. Um, that's probably not what it's called, but you know, whatever. Uh, the trigger feels a little bit different. This feels more like the Recon Mark II trigger, which felt different too. I might do a review of that. And also, I haven't done a Nerf video in a while. I've been, I've been doing mainly like gaming videos and update channel and like channel updates and you know stuff like that. So I figured, why not today do a uh, Nerf review? So yeah. But anyway, I can't shoot this gun, but whatever. Um, this gun does have a tactical rail on top, so you can add you know sights if you want to. You can add a grip if you just want to be like. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's about it for this Nerf gun. 
If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe because it supports the channel so much. Thank you guys for watching. Peace and bye. Michael Bay!